Hey guys, welcome to Motoroids. My name is Amit, and this is the recently launched Audi RS e-tron GT, which is the most powerful, fastest Audi series production Audi ever produced. And uh, just look at this car. Doesn't it look amazing? The price for this car is two crore five lakh rupees X showroom, and uh, it simply looks stunning. It's the fifth electric car that Audi has launched here and with the launch of these two cars the RS e-tron and the e-tron GT so this is the RS e-tron GT and that one there is the e-tron GT there are differences and I'm going to let you know everything about uh, all these differences in a bit so this is the e-tron RS GT which is the most powerful Audi ever and let's talk about the performance here uh, if you go to see the power output here is 646 HP and 830 Newton meters of torque and all of that power and torque can propel it from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in a blistering quick 3.3 seconds and uh, the 93 kilowatt hour uh, battery that this car has is shared with the e-tron GT as well however the discharge rate there is uh, slower and uh, the performance of, of course is slightly uh, lower so this car does 0 to 104.1 .1 seconds and the power and torque is also lesser here you get 530 hp of peak power and 630 newton meters of torque here you get 830 newton meters of torque so there's a huge difference and uh, if you look at the styling both the cars of course have a, have a very similar face However, if you see the bumper here is body colored and the Audi rings are done in black but there the Audi rings are done in silver and here it's a special pack that's been applied here on the bumper but standard version will have grey inserts here. The headlights on both the cars uh, are LED matrix but if you uh, wish to you can go with the laser lights as well and the laser lights are optional and have a throw of 600 meters. So that's something that you can also uh, opt for. Now, these uh, sensors that you see here are dummies. They are not functional because this car does not come with adaptive cruise control. Uh, that's an omission. We really believe that these cars are quite expensive. This car is also one crore 80 lakh rupees. So for that kind of money, we would definitely have wanted this car to have uh, some sort of autonomous driving. Although this car comes with lane keep assist, but the more advanced autonomous driving features are absent which is quite an omission in my personal opinion so you obviously have these front parking sensors and you have uh, a little camera should have been here but seems like you don't even have a camera here that's also a dummy so that's again uh, an omission the blinkers are swipe out and are integrated in those DRLs and those lights look quite swanky you see this air curtain here it lets air channel through and then a very interesting design element is this slot here which lets the air come out so there is less turbulence and better aerodynamic ability which this car can provide you the wheels are also very aerodynamically designed and these are 20 inch wheels this car comes with charging ports on both the sides so you have one here and the other one is on the other side just show you in a bit here now this is uh, a sport back style and uh, as you can see the roof swoops down gently and a very interesting design element here is the all glass roof full panoramic sunroof it looks beautiful from the inside and this is how the lights look when they are lit just look at this uh, LED lighting which connects the two sides so it really comes across as a very very beautifully designed car and it's a one of its kind car in India right now you don't have any other fully electric uh, sports car you have SUVs of course Audi also has uh, its own uh, e-tron which is available in three variants including uh, uh, the sportback and uh, then you have the e-tron and the RS now the RS has a slightly different treatment in terms of the fact that it gets uh, 
black audi rings and this rs badging here of course so more uh, aggressive elements in some parts another key differentiator is the brakes here which are more advanced and uh, you won't get these brakes on the standard e-tron gt the calipers here are also painted in red so that's another differentiation and on the inside also the rs version gets a more advanced 17 speaker bang and olufsen system as well as uh, uh, massage seats ventilated seats so all of these features are additional on the rs e-tron gt you won't get those features on this car here now talking about the range which is very important for a lot of you this car here can go up to 500 kilometers on a single charge and this car here can go up to 481 kilometers on a single charge so the range on both the cars is pretty good and both the cars can take you intercity from uh, one city to the other city uh, without any range anxiety so that's a fantastic thing let's now have a look uh, at this spoiler it's an active spoiler and uh, it comes up and goes down uh, as the speed of the car increases or decreases now about the charging times this car comes with uh, 800 volt technology with up to 270 kilowatt dc charging which can charge it from 5% to 80% in only 22 minutes and uh, apart from that you get two varieties of uh, chargers as standard and uh, you get a three point charger as well as a five point charger another interesting bit is the fact that this car comes with two trunks so the front trunk is obviously known as the frunk as they popularly call it now and it has uh, the space for your charger and you have the traditional boot at the rear so you have a little bit more space than your traditional cars and in addition to all of that there are some interesting things that you'd probably want to know and uh, that includes a rear differential lock so you know you can always bank on this car for uh, handling it comes with e quattro so all wheels are driven now this car here comes with adaptive air suspension so the ride height can go up and down by up to 42 mm however the standard e-tron gt does not come with uh, air suspension and there uh, you get only adaptive damping you don't get adaptive air suspension so in that sense also the rs uh, has more equipment now we talked about the fixed panoramic sunroof and let me just show you that it looks absolutely beautiful when you look at it from the inside especially and uh, let's have a quick look this is how the panoramic glass sunroof looks from the inside and it really uh, adds a dash of premiumness to the interior the interior by itself has been done beautifully it's unlike any other audi that you've seen and these geometric shapes very very clean surfacing looks very good you have this familiar audi virtual cockpit which is 12.3 inches and a 10.1 inch central screen you have these illuminated e-tron uh, gt scruff plates frameless windows which make the doors look absolutely stunning and uh, on this car you don't have uh, the sports seat but uh, on the rs variant you have special seats with rs badging inside let's have a look at the dashboard and you have some familiar buttons here drive select traction control off parking sensors and you can turn the screen off using this button start stop button and you have some volume controls here two cup holders drive selector is a little different from what you've seen from audi till now and e-tron badging here the whole dashboard layout is very very different from uh, whatever you've seen on audis till now very clean surfacing very geometric and very very futuristic there is an armrest here Now, as you would imagine this being a sport bag, the headroom at the rear is not as much as you would expect, uh, but legroom 
it's reasonably good for a sports car you can seat a 5 feet 10 inch guy like me here without much of a problem and uh, my head is just about brushing so any taller than me and your head will be brushing with the roof which is absolutely beautiful pardon any fumbles because uh, there are just too many people shooting here and i'll have to finish this entire shoot in one go so pardon if uh, there are any problems during uh, this conversation you get a three zone climate control here you have the central armrest and you have individual headrests for all three passengers this is what the door panels look like again very geometric shapes a very 3d kind of a look given to the door panels and the dashboard it all looks very very premium very well put together high quality materials and very well thought out now in addition to whatever i have told you you also get all wheel steering which is fantastic and uh, not just does it provide you great stability at higher speeds at slower speeds it also gives you a very good maneuverability so that's a great feature now while this car does not have uh, autonomous driving features it does come with lane keep assist which is okay but nothing too great and i really believe that for the kind of price that audi is asking for there should have been more autonomous driving features here so that's a bit of an omission i really would have wanted this car to have uh, more advanced uh, autonomous features with the radar and what not now in terms of warranty this car gets 2 uh, years uh, of uh, warranty and high voltage battery warranty of 8 years or 160000 kilometers you can also opt for an extended warranty uh, across a period of 2 plus 2 years or 2 plus 3 years so you can opt for additional 2 or 3 years of warranty whatever uh, you find suitable for your budget now you also get uh, this rs illuminated scruff plate here on the rs variant and there are some subtle changes like on the door panels you get this uh, alcantara and contrasting red sporty stitching also the seats are very different you get sporty seats here with rs badging as i mentioned the shape of the seats is also very different you get a d cut steering wheel with contrasting red stitching alcantara uh, wrapping on the steering wheel and rs badging as well so there are uh, some really clear differences as compared to the standard uh e-tron gt and the seat belt here is also a very sporty red the roof is of course similar to the vanilla e-tron gt and the theme that you saw up front in terms of the seat has been carried over at the rear as well so you have this honeycomb pattern and red stitching along with the red seat belts at the rear as well but the more important thing is that the audio system here is far superior and uh, you get a 17 speaker bang and olufsen system which is amazing this is the front and it's open now so that's how much space you have and you also have illumination there so that's a view of how much space you have up front and now since we are on the topic let's have a look at the space at the rear as well so that's how much space you have here and uh, over 400 liters of space and uh, this should be sufficient for a family of four to go for a short weekend the boot is powered of course and uh, while this is a sports car it has enough space uh, to swallow in quite a few uh, bags and take you for a short holiday with your family So that's that guys the two new Audi cars in India which are electric and which makes Audi the leader in this segment at this point in time they have five cars in all and at this point in time no other premium car manufacturer has a sports car which is completely electric so Audi has the edge and uh, if you want to go green want to go electric and you want a proper sports car then these are the only options that you have one last word before i leave since porsche is owned by volkswagen group this car was built on the taycan platform and uh, this car essentially in terms of uh, its architecture and everything is very similar to the porsche taycan so that's that guys the audi e-tron gt and the audi rs e-tron gt 
and uh, as you can see there's a, a lot of crowd here so it's very difficult to get a clean shot but i did what i could and i really hope that i was able to give you some insight into what these cars are like and if you like the video hit that like button subscribe to motroids and until next time this is amit changani signing off drive hard drive free and drive safe